Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's nighttime edition of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We've got the boatless angler himself, Antonio, with us today and you know... Already fishing. <laughs> already fishing, as usual, that's his trademark. He's running a T-turn bait rig. I am going to run, because it's nighttime, this is the perfect opportunity to run those glow baits. So I have got a glow flexi jig right here rigged with a minnow type bait and what we're doing today folks we're looking for that night bite walleye and we're going to be working uh, i'm going to work this uh, flexi jig bounce it off the bottom antonio's going to work the live bait rig and we're going to see if we can hook into a fish or two now the thing about this nighttime fishing speaking of boatless angler people write in and say what's the best time for me to catch walleye from shore one of the best times is at night because what happens those walleye they will move into the shallows close to the shoreline looking to feed and that gives the boatless angler a prime opportunity to hook into some of those nice juicy walleye and we're hoping to get into some today so stay tuned folks oh what a what a solid hit that was this walleye just inhaled that bait and gave me one solid solid bite did you see that hook san antonio i saw it but uh it's wow. getting dark so it felt like a really it feels like a really nice fish but what a good bite that was second cast folks second cast unbelievable <laughs> is it on the glow flexi it's on the glow yeah now we're out here it's actually it's raining uh oh my line antonio there we go it's raining right now and it's the start of a front a front is moving in and we're expecting some heavy rain so i called antonio and i said how about we get a line wet tonight? He had plans to go out play soccer and he said in about two seconds flat, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know my priorities. You know your priorities is right. Wow, this feels like a heavy fish. Oh my goodness. I had a fair amount of line out. Unless it's a lake trout, you never know. It could be a lake trout, but it feels like a walleye. He's giving me those nice walleye head shakes. Now, I had my drag set very, very tight for the hook set. And because it's dark, I'm relying on feel. And I felt absolutely everything because I'm running braided line. I've got the 10 pound thunder braid on. And of course, as you know, always with the fluorocarbon leader. And I hope this fish is gonna at least surface. Antonio, I think he's getting close. There he is there. Oh yeah, oh, it's a nice walleye. There oh, you go. There we go. <laughs> There is one nice walleye right there. Look at that fish. Right there. <laughs> That's a nice walleye. I told you, you got your camera? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I would love a photo. And then we'll get this walleye right back in there again. This is a big fish. A nice walleye. Let's get that hook out. With the flexi jig, if you've never seen them before, the hook flexes down on the hook set and, and changes the whole angle of the hook set so you get a beautiful hook set all the time, right up the snout. Okay, Antonio, how about a nice photo for our Facebook and Instagram friends? Okay, ready? Yeah. I think I got it, stick another one for good measure. Beautiful. Okay, let's get this walleye right back in the water, but what a gorgeous fish. Look at that fish, folks. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Okay, back in he goes. What a nice hook set. I love it. That glow jig, the walleye, they've got a great vision at night. They really do, and this glow only helps matters because it really lets them hone in on that, on that bait and bite. There we go. I had a little bit of a... and bite, so I, I need to... Uh, no, I gotta remember to tighten my drag again. I've done that before, hey, okay? Antonio? Yeah. You loosen your drag to fight a fish, you cast it back out, you go to set the hook on the next fish and you get nothing but drag. <laughs> so I always, always check my drag. There we go. And the technique is very, very simple. Just bouncing it off the bottom, nice and easy. Let it go down, just a lift and down. And if you, if you let it go down on a controlled slack, you'll actually feel absolutely everything. And that walleye just inhaled that bait. That was a great bite. We're hoping to get some more. Oh, oh, I, I, was, 
I was just saying to Antonio, I got another nice walleye here, folks. I was just saying to Antonio how much harder it is fishing at nighttime than it is during the day. You got to actually feel what you're doing. You can't see your rod tip or your line. Everything's about sensitivity. Oh, wow. And that was another solid hit. <laughs> Antonio feels like another real nice walleye. You got the one I missed. Yeah, Antonio, you just missed one on that T-turn rig. You had him on for a bit. We're having some good action here, folks. Oh, this is a good fish. Now, I hope I gave him a good enough hook set because I was in the middle of explaining to Antonio how much more difficult <laughs> it is fishing at night. But nighttime fishing for walleye, it's unbelievable. These fish are very active and especially before a front like today. If you've got a front coming in, you get an opportunity. Oh, here he is there, Antonio. He's coming up. Oh, another nice one. Wow. <laughs> oh, what I would do for walleye like this come, come tournament time. Look at that fish, folks. There's another chunky walleye right there. That's a real chunk. And where's my jig? Look at that. <laughs> he just, just inhaled that right there. Oh, my. Okay, let's get this guy out. And we'll get him right back in again. And it was a good hook set. Look at that, right up top. There we go. Out it came. Nice chunky walleye okay well i sure hope we can get some small ones for the dinner table <laughs> be nice. yeah can't complain though no this is unreal and you know the thing is too if you've got an opportunity and you see a front coming in get home from a hard day's work and you've got a couple hours whether you're a boat whether you've got a boat or you're a boatless angler Take that opportunity and go out and fish for a couple hours in the evening and you might catch yourself a bonus fish or two. Because nighttime walleye, really good fishing. They bite great during the day, but at night they're just very aggressive and they're on the feed. I'm into one. Yeah, I saw that, Antonio. Nice hook set. Thanks. <laughs> what a night. Good size one. I think it might be a keeper. Okay, I'm coming with the net. Just let me get my line in. All right. It was a really subtle hit. Really? Unlike the ones on the jig. Wow. No kidding. I almost didn't even know he was there. No kidding. Real subtle bite. They must have just picked it up. Okay, I'm coming. Hit the net. You know what? It might actually be a, a really big one, actually. Oh, really? Feels bigger? <laughs> it feels bigger now. It's closer to the boat. <laughs> oh, my. What a night we're having out here, folks. Unreal. This is great fishing, isn't it, Antonio? It doesn't get any better. Not really. You know what? It's actually kind of warming up, it feels like. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad over here. Well, you know why it's warming up? Because you're catching fish. True. <laughs> true. Uh, I don't see him yet. He hasn't surfaced. No, he has not. So now Antonio's using uh, the T-turn. You're using the live bait rig. He's got a T-turn on running a minnow. A live minnow, and uh, you're trying to run as bigger minnows as you can, right? Actually, in this cast, I actually put two minnows on. Oh, did you? Yeah, just huh? to bulk up my bait. You put two minnows on one hook? Right. Okay, because you see the, the lure I'm using, I've got that big jig on there, the minnow imitating jig, and it's a big, big profile. So that was a good idea to double up on the minnows. It worked. Always thinking, eh, Antonio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always good to try new things. It is. I'd like to try and net this fish if we could see him. Well, I think it's actually quite large. You so. think it's a big one? <laughs> yeah. Well, I just saw a glimpse of it. Oh, there he is there. Oh, yeah. Is that? Is it a laker? It might be a lake trout. It kind of looked like a lake trout. Whatever it is, it's big. He's not fighting like a walleye. He's fighting like a lake trout, Antonio. I'll take it. Well, I guess you will. <laughs> I guess you will. <laughs> Doesn't matter, walleye or lake trout. I don't think I've ever caught a lake trout at night. You know what? I was just gonna say I didn't even think lakers bit at night. Now we're not sure it's a lake trout, but it's kind of silvery. <laughs> I well, saw a little bit of silver. I saw a bit of a flash there. I didn't see any white tip on the tail, but it's hard to tell at this nighttime. But a lake trout is more apt to take the live bait. 
There he is there. It's yeah. definitely a Laker. Yeah, it's a Laker. It's a good one, too. Oh, yeah, there he is. Just see him under the surface. Just barely. Oh, that's a big lake trout, Antonio. Wow. Nice fish. Wow. We're getting some nice fish tonight, aren't we? <laughs> this is better than sitting around watching TV, isn't it? It is. Nice laker. Wow. That's a good fish, Antonio. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Okay, back in he goes, yep. and back in we go. Oh, I, I, I think, Antonio, this flexi jig is hot tonight. You know what I think it is, folks? I think Antonio's using those smaller minnows. I've got this nice big artificial bait on here, a minnow imitating bait. And those walleye are just attacking it. And the flexi jig is doing its job because I can feel these good hook sets. This feels like another nice fish. You gonna land it, Antonio? You got your line in? Yeah, I'll land it. If you. not, I can land it. I'll land it. Yeah? yeah? Okay, there he is there. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Beautiful fish. Another male. Good fish right there. That's what I mean about the hook sets. Oh boy, do I love fishing for walleye, folks. Okay, another nice chunky, chunky fish. I gotta get my line back in again. Nice. <laughs> my turn, Antonio. Oh yeah, this feels like another walleye, not a lake trout like you had. I'm pretty sure it's a walleye. Good. Good hit, folks. What I tell you, what I'm using, I've got my, I've got a six foot medium action rod that I'm running today, and it's a one piece rod. I prefer one piece over two. They're much more durable, and they're also very much more sensitive. And the flexi jig I'm running is the half ounce glow. And I like that half ounce because it keeps me on the bottom. There he is there. Nice. Oh, that's a smaller fish. That's a nicer fish. That's an eater. That's an eater right there. Okay. Get the hook out. There we go. Yes. We got ourselves an eater right there. That's a nice, nice smaller fish, eh, Antonio? Good. I think, well, folks, we're gonna have ourselves a little evening snack tonight, aren't we, Antonio? If you're up for it. I think I'm up for it. You know what, folks, fishing in the evening, if you get an opportunity, get out there. A couple hours is all you need. Work some jigs if you want. You can throw some crankbaits. You can work uh, T-turn rig, live bait. The walleye are pretty active and uh, you should be able to get into some fish too. We're having a great day out here. You witnessed Antonio with his very first nighttime lake trout. Yep. Hey? Eh? Yeah. And uh, yeah, it sure was a good day on the water. We're gonna give it another uh, half hour here, I guess. We've been out here about an hour and a half now, so another half hour, because we said two hours. Then we're gonna go and have ourselves a nice little nighttime snack. So I wanna thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Nice. Well, what a start that is to our day right there. Yeah. And we've been about, what, 10, 15 minutes? Probably, yeah, 15 maybe. About 15 minutes for the first hit. 